this is Jeff Nager with AMD World Championship and I've got Doc from Heavy Duty Magazine and you're the technical editor there, right Doc? Heavy Duty Magazine Australia. Excuse me, Australia. Yes I am, technical editor. I've been with the magazine 20 years and uh, I also do features, whatever they ask. And you're here in Sturgis taking a look at um, the bikes. You've been in Sturgis multiple times. What do you think of this crop of World Championship bikes? I think the standard's right up there. Um, it, it's mind-blowing. It's just absolutely mind-blowing, the creativity, the engineering. Awesome. It really is truly a World Championship. And we've got some uh, bikes from Australia as well. Yeah, yeah, we do. We. I'd like to see more of them over here. Our best is right up there with anything else. There's a lot of creativity worldwide. Absolutely, absolutely, yep. And will you be uh, profiling some of these bikes in the magazine? Yeah, we usually run two or three of them um, just to show our readers. We bring readers over here, we do a readers tour. We've got 30 readers with us this time. And yeah, they, to see them in the metal, just, you know. So you're really bringing um, the lifestyle of the American V-Twin to Australia by bringing these guys out here? Absolutely, yeah. Well, the lifestyle is worldwide now. It certainly is, isn't it? It, it really is, and that's a good thing. Yeah. That's a good thing, yeah. So uh, talk about a bike that's really caught your attention, whether it's uh, from Australia or from anywhere else here in the show. There are five that I really like. I can't, I can't name them all. That John Reed's bike that he's redone. Now we got to say that John Reed's bike was built 30 years ago, before CNC machinery, and it is an outstanding bike. Absolutely awesome. I like the BM, uh, I like the BSA next to it. That's pretty sweet. The billet one down there. The uh, I don't know what's it called. The we don't know this bike, but it's a good no, bike. No, that blue. Ah, no. I don't know. Oh, no, garage six. Know it's the garage sixty-five bike. It's from an Italian, a group of Italian guys, and it's really an outstanding bike too. Oh, absolutely, as is the Japanese one over there. One of the Japanese ones. Um, yeah. Just one bike after the other, um, and it must be hard to judge. You're one of our um, celebrity judge. Um, it's got to be difficult for you guys. It really is. Um, it takes me four or five hours and I usually end up with a tension headache because these guys put so much of their life into these bikes, so much time, so much money. I really want to be fair, 100%. I want to appreciate every detail and then try and figure it out. Yeah, you, and you really want to honor them for all the work they've done. Absolutely, absolutely. They're just incredible guys. They all deserve to win, almost all. A of About 70%. A couple of the American ones aren't so good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, um, if somebody was interested in Heavy Duty Magazine, where would they find it? Is there a subscription domestically that uh, they, they could access or uh, European? Uh, yeah, go to our website, heavyduty.com.au, and you can, there's all the details there. All right, well, there you go, the 411 on Heavy Duty Magazine. Doc, thanks so much for your time. Thank you. Appreciate it.